Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel here, Bobby Stroke 444. This is going to be a midweek message here for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Take these messages as they resonate for you and your situation, guys. Leave the rest, don't force the messages to fit. Okay, let's get started. I'm trying to make these videos fairly quick here, but uh, to give you some um some aspects of what's going on in the energy right now for my Aquariuses here. So uh, angel number for the week here for today, six, seven, nine. Okay. So maybe that number is relevant to you in some way, shape or form. 67, 76, 69, 96, um, and any of those orders here. Okay. So, um, what it means is the angels are trying to get you, uh, get your attention and to use your intuition and to connect with your emotions. Someone is definitely dissatisfied with life or what is being offered right now to you or it's like rejecting or just um not accepting what is being offered not coming to acceptance not feeling emotionally fulfilled or just don't want to connect or okay? maybe it's a little bit of stubborn energy uh whether this is you Aquarius or this is somebody that you're dealing with around you okay but the angels want you to connect with these emotions you know instead of feeling like this you know you're being offered something by the divine by the universe they want to gift you with something but it's just not to your standards okay it's not not what you want in that cup it's like yeah there's three other cups over there you're handing me this one i just don't nah it's not something i want so you're rejecting what is being offered okay but it could be emotionally fulfilling to you it's like you don't really know what's in that cup but you still want to reject it right and you still feel bored and you feel discontent or dissatisfied but the angels want to try and help guide you with these issues that you're currently dealing with you can make anything possible by what you want to achieve okay what's in that cup it's time to discover who you are this is a gift maybe with something within yourself something that you don't see the universe is like hey here's a skill that will help you right I'm gifting this to you. It's a gift from the universe. Okay, well, I don't want that skill. That doesn't look fulfilling to me. Aquarius is saying this. So Aquarius is pushing it away. But don't be afraid to accept that cup. Don't be accept don't be afraid if you even if you have tried these cups and you weren't dissatisfied with those cups and the universe is saying, "Here's another cup. This one's got something in it too that will help benefit you." But you're like, "I don't know because I've tried these three cups and they didn't work." All right, so don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to accept that that cup that the universe is offering you because it could be fulfilling to you. It could be of some help. It could be beneficial. Keep going. Keep moving forward, okay? It's like, here's another one for you. Here's another one for you. Here's another one for you, okay? You don't want this one? Let's try this one. But nothing seems to be good or good enough. Nothing's meeting your standards. So let's see what's going on. This is someone around you that you're dealing with, Aquarius. You take them as they resonate, okay? All right, let's see. Aquarius. What is going on midweek? It's uh, November 9th today. Happy hump day. It could have something to do with your work. Like I said, it's a skill, okay? Here, I can help you with this idea. I can help you with this skill. Oh, you don't want this one? You keep rejecting what I'm giving you. But it could be emotionally fulfilling. Have you tried it? How about trying this one? How about trying this one? No, that's not good enough. No, that's not good. Enough. Nothing seems to be good enough. Could have something to do with relationships, okay? Or partnerships here. Could be around work. Somebody you work with that you're partnered up with is just not fulfilling. It's not satisfying. Okay. All right. So somebody could be going to divorce court. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Somebody could be going to jail or you're dealing with a a, a, a relationship con artist. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Official person is involved. You could be official person. It could be uh, child custody issues. Who's going to get the child? Okay. Or this could be somebody childish. If it's not a child, it's definitely a lover. The, I don't know, a trickster, somebody tried to trick you into a relationship with a child, a child that may or may not be yours. Somebody tried to work really hard at getting this child.
changes are happening around this main female and main male. Somebody's in despair in a family room. This may or may not be your child. Somebody got tricked into having a child. Maybe there was options here where there's many possibilities of who the father is. Somebody tried to step on you, okay? Or you tried to step on somebody else. You take it as it resonates, Aquarius. Ideas on how to get out of this, waiting on results. Somebody's not believing the story. Somebody's getting fed stories and they're not believing it. They're like, I don't believe that. Tell me another story. I don't believe that either. Tell me another story. Okay. Um, March 30th, March 15th, Pisces energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces or you could be dealing with a Pisces or possibly an Aries cusp. Okay. Uh, March 29th. So I could be 29 or 30 years old or 34 years old or 22. All right, let's so take those messages. They resonate for you. They won't be everybody's message. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. It's time to show the world the real you. I mean, this could be depressing. This could be upsetting, disappointing that you are not the father. There could be up to four potential fathers that could be involved. Either you're waiting on. There's four, four men that possibly could be the father of this child. Is this my child? Is this not my child? I don't believe that story. I mean, all right, let's see. Aquarius. Somebody needs to pay attention to their body. They're not taking care of their body. Oof, a wonderful idea. Somebody's got an idea over here, the aha moment. It misses you. You're missing someone or someone's missing you. Could be holding on. You know, I mean, they're holding on for these results here. They're like, just give me a little bit of time. But they got an idea. Okay, this could be somebody you're married to or that you're getting a divorce from and you're waiting on this divorce to get finalized. You're waiting on these results. Sign the, signing the final documents on this paperwork here. 29 or 39 can be significant. Power of three. So definitely uh, at least three individuals were involved. We got three cups down here. Three different men, three different women, three different situations, okay? And now you're being offered another situation. You're like, man, I don't want to go back. I don't want to, I don't be put in the same situation again. I don't know if I want to accept this. Like, is it going to disappoint me? Is this same, if I go into re another a relationship, if I open my heart and my emotions, is it going to turn out the same way? So, um, you know, it's putting yourself in that victim mentality if you've been victimized or if you feel like a victim. I mean, just because you had three situations that didn't work out for you, whatever those situations were, doesn't mean that this offer is not going to work out. Don't give up. Don't be afraid to fail. Keep going. Just because you've had three different situations, three different occupations, three different marriages here. We've got the threes, okay? Doesn't mean that this next one's not going to work. You still have to be open to what you love. Keep your heart chakra open now. All right? What you love, who you love, and being open to love in general. All right, what's going on here with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius this week, November 9th? All right, so we got resorting to violence in the name of a cause because of these this child or these children. Somebody could be, be abusive. Whether this is verbally abusive, physically abusive, emotionally abusive, psychologically abusive, financially abusive, sexually abusive. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody that will lash out. This is the, uh, I want to say a bully. I mean, it is, really. I mean, this is somebody that acts like they're just, but they're unjust. They keep the life in, a, in an imbalanced state on behalf of uh, either society or their self. Very selfish. Excuse me, my nose is running, guys. Uh, yeah, goddess, okay. Exploitation of the female nature and form. This is somebody that you don't know which son, you don't know who the father is over here. 
because there's at least three to four other people that could be a father to this child. Somebody was working hard at trying to keep you stuck with a child that most likely is not yours, waiting on DNA, waiting on results, waiting on a finalization uh, of paperwork for a divorce to get out of this situation, but they're being violent. They're resulting to violence to keep you stuck. So you're feeling dissatisfied because you're being abused and you're allowing yourself to stay in that. And you don't want to, if you were in an abusive relationship and you have recently got yourself out of that, you don't want to go into another relationship that may be abusive. Because you're tired of the abuse and it just is what it is. And these aren't everyone's message, guys. Something going to happen during Halloween over here. Is this somebody who's just trying to keep you trying to keep you caught up in the justice system in court over this? It's like over and over and over and over again. It's like what now? There's more, there's more lawyers, there's more fees, okay? We just have to keep going back and going back, but now you're tired of it. You're tired. Somebody's not believing a story that someone else is telling them to. Like if it is your child, they keep telling you that it's your child, but you know for a fact. That there's three other people that are involved. At least. Because this individual exploits the female nature and form. They're very sexual. This is a martyr. Addiction to self-pity. Wants you to feel bad for them. They think they're gaining something. Maybe luck. Or you have good luck on your side, Aquarius here. Horseshoes may be significant. Maybe you play horseshoes. Like that's a, a sport that you like to play. Okay, it's saying pay attention to your work at this time. Your occupation, what you do, because somebody's trying to, you know, deceive you around work or it could be like a, a dividing the assets here and they feel like they're entitled to a portion of your work because there is a marriage or some type of commitment here involved. All right. I'll give you as many messages as I can get out, guys, okay? All right, so we've got shit hitting the fan over here. The sheet is hitting the fan, okay? <laughs> Romance, celebration, or partying, or someone does that a lot, or you may want to party or have a relationship or a celebration or romance with someone. All right, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. This could be if someone was overly romantic with other individuals, you know, giving it out. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Yeah, there's definitely a child here involved. This could be a new occupation, going towards a new job. Okay, wanting a new job, a new role. Okay, as an official person, you know, maybe you are going to a new lover. Who knows? Somebody could have been in jail or somebody could be going to jail or somebody could be a recently got out of jail. If this is not keeping somebody stuck mentally or uh, mental abuse. We got dealings or relationships with a woman with blonde or gray or white hair. So you could be this woman or you can be dealing with this woman. Okay. Or it could be a masculine in their feminine energy. Take it as it resonates and a misunderstanding. You will have triumph over these obstacles and these troubles. So um, you will win this case. You will be able to get yourself out of it because like I said, this may not be your child. You have plenty of material things here to focus on. What is this? Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Yeah, don't lower your standards here. You feel like something's not meeting your standards. It's not meeting your requirements. Okay, or someone else does. Family wishes coming true, so something's coming through. If you wish for this, maybe this isn't my child. Man, I hope this isn't my child because I don't want to be stuck with this person because they're promiscuous. You know, they like to go out and uh, be with this one and that one and this one and that one. And I don't want to be paying for a child and, and be stuck with a female that does this. Okay, whatever. All right, increase in material wealth or myster uh, mysterious. Yeah, something's mysterious. Someone's materialistic or something's a mystery around materialism. All right, uh, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So it's like fertility, things growing around you or you wanting to grow somewhere else or something fishy, okay? You don't have all the pieces yet, okay, or something can smell fishy, who knows. All right, we got a short journey, so you're getting yourself out of this here. You are on the road to success in some matter or aspect in your life right now, climbing the mountain to success. 
because you're getting yourself out of the feeling uh, stuck, stifled, and bored. Use your intuition, guys, when making beneficial changes. I'm just going to take these last three here for you. And we've got a period of ill health and depression, so there could be uh, ill health, uh, especially if there's some type of violence here that's involved or abuse that's involved. Major challenge to overcome, and the, you know it's got you stuck in a depressive uh, state, or you're working through depression, or someone you're dealing with is working through dep depression. Okay, I also heard a fly on the wall. So there's somebody could hear everything, all your conversations, okay? Or something's recorded, or there's a recording somewhere. All right, we've got journey. So taking a journey and making a sacrifice to take this journey. Now, still suffering in silence. Maybe the healing from this illness, okay? Mental illness, anything. Sexual illness, not wanting someone to know. But I feel like somebody's like hearing this, like the walls are thin. So whatever that means for someone. Like somebody could have a glass up against the wall, like listening, okay? Or there's like ears, there's ears around, okay? February 12th or February 9th or September 2nd or September 12th could be significant here. All right, so we got emotional loss, feeling of this loss, it's like guarding that heart, right? Like I said, also holding on to hope or a hopeful situation or hope that things can be over. Somebody just wants something to be over and they're manifesting. What are we manifesting over here? This is also like balance I'm getting, trying to balance out their light and their dark side here, trying to heal. All right. Heal their finances. Okay. There's with a maybe an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and being recognized, okay, for success. Succeeding, succeeding what? Temptation. Somebody trying to tempt you or give you a tempting offer, but you're rejecting that. Right? Due to deception, envy sexual needs right okay using your intuition because you're going to be victorious in a love situation maybe with another offer or uh deciding to accept another offer elsewhere okay whether that has to do with love or occupation your career whatever that is because you're passionate about somebody that you miss or something that you miss something that you miss doing maybe you did something in the past and you gave it up for this opportunity but it got you nowhere except for violent a violent situation that had nothing but abuse behind it all right and having memories of love about a relationship or a partnership and seeing growth in that situation patience and planning and you know working through these emotions guys all right so did this um eclipse have a big effect on you aquarius obviously Hmm. March 5th, May 3rd, May 15th, somebody could be 42, somebody could be 53, somebody could be 35, somebody 39, 29, okay. May 17th, September 17th, any of those dates, let's see. Aquarius, what else do they need to know right this midweek here? Worry, so somebody's worried. Um, I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, so no reason to worry, especially if you got something new coming your way, feeling like that, you know, it's going to be the same as the last, you know, and, and uh, not all situations, not all relationships, not all jobs or occupations are the same. Recognizing the difference there. Worry is a wasted emotion, Aquarius. Trust your inner voice that'll always guide you the right way. Trust your gut. Okay. Wow, this is a lot of information. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Somebody's wanting to change. They're wanting a change of scenery. They're wanting something different because they're bored or they're dissatisfied with life or the way things are. The way things have always seemed to have been, like somebody living in victim mentality. Well, I get into this, and it, I always think that it's going to be better. And it seems like it turns out to the same situation. So you're uh, you're attracting the things that you don't want. The manifestations that you're doing are the vibration that you're in. So be open to these changes. In order to be able to grow, because you do have fertile, this is a fertile period, you have fear, uh, fears, yeah, fear around fertility, okay, um, love, 
I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So like this could be loving yourself. It almost wanted to come in reverse. So feeling unloved, feeling like you're not deserving here, feeling that lack of love. So um, you have unconditional love within yourself. So finding that, healing that, be able to go towards if this is someone or something that you love or that you see love with or love in. All right. It's not all about just desires and lust. All right, balance, okay? This is uh, the court system. Uh, it's just a choosing here. So a choice needs to be made. I bring the state of perfect harmony into my world. I do so without judgment. This is like not blaming yourself, okay? Placing blame. You know, yes, I did get myself in this situation, but, you know, I can't judge myself because what did I learn from this experience? What have I learned from these past three experiences? That's why there's fear around this rejection. You're like, ah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to focus on love anymore because of the fact that I've had all these bad experiences, but all that does, those resentments from the past blocks your flow of love. It blocks the love to you and for you. This is also not placing judgment on others, accepting responsibility for our own well-being. Patience. I accept everything happens in divine order and, and empathy, seeing both sides of the situation. Being empathetic, okay? It just didn't work out, you know? It's not meant to be. Whatever. I don't know what it is for you guys, but that's what I got. Let's get some messages over here. Let's try and get you some letters out for my Aquarius. Trying to make these fairly quickly. Tanya. Trey. Tamara. Terrell. Torn. Something's torn. Okay. Something's turd. <laughs> okay. Something's stinky. Stinky turd. Okay. Uh, Rodney. There's a one. Um, Rod or Rodney. Roderick. Rita. Something restored. Someone's trying to restore something. Something's dirty. Okay. Scorpio. All right, we got the letter W here. 15 or 51. Woody. Worried. Someone's worried about their Woody? Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> all right, Leo. I don't know, maybe Scorpio or Leo. Worried about their Woody. 40, somebody be 45 or 54, 41. Somebody's at the last straw. Taurus. Stu, Stuart or stewardess. Somebody is a stewardess. Arrested. Somebody's arrested or about to be arrested. Okay, cancer. All right, strut, somebody strutting their stuff or strutting around. Also, trust is an issue or trust has been broken or it's hard to gain somebody's trust. Okay, um, nine, 95, 94, 91, 49, something on the 15th or the 19th or the 14th, hustle, somebody's a hustler. Capricorn, Z. Something's hazy. Somebody's nickname could be Dozer. Maybe somebody have a dog named Dozer. Also, Drew, I'm hearing. Pisces, O. 
somebody could live in the South or something happened in the South or somebody could have a Southern accent. House, house arrest, somebody on house arrest. Okay. Okay, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Capricorn, Cancer. That's enough. Um, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. That's quite a bit of signs that came out. And then we got 4159. Any of those numbers could be relevant to you. Okay. Let's see. Gigi. Somebody have a dog named Gigi? Gina? Something, Giselle? It's like Giselle? Gazelle, gizzards, somebody gizzards, somebody got, uh, somebody with a, a drag or got drug, drug into something or somebody was drugged or somebody's into drugs, I don't know. Definitely somebody's got a dog here. At least one dog. A hound. A hound dog? Or a dog hound? Somebody's in the dog house? Somebody got hit? There was definitely physically vi physical violence that was involved over here. Something's gushing. Something with the gust, too. The wind gust is picking up. Especially if things are hitting the fan over here. The wind gusts are picking up, guys. Something with the gist of it. Someone could say uh, sheet a lot, S-H-I-T, a lot. That's like their favorite curse word. Um, somebody could have a different blood type over here, like B-R-H negative. Oh, that may be a confirmation. I got double confirmation on that. My phone dung, uh, had a ding, and so did my computer. So, oh, there we go. Uh, okay, we got uh, T-S-O. Um, yeah, Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Something was orchestrated over here, okay? R-U-D-H-I-G-Z-W or M. You take them as they resonate for you, but that's what I have for you guys. Whew. Aquarius, what a mess. And we got Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Capricorn, Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Any or all these signs could be involved here. Take these messages, they resonated for you in the situation, and if they don't, then they're not your message, okay? Hopefully they helped you in some way, shape, or form, gain some type of clarity as to what's going on or, you know, what you need to, to move forward. So, um, good luck in your situation. Take care. Have a wonderful week.